What happened in 1929? It's too far back to remember. Too far back for most of us to care. But at Chiprock, we care. We care a great deal. It was the end of the Roaring Twenties. Most thought it would be a generation of peace and prosperity. Two men began a journey. It was a year that marked a birth and the start of a life the Founding Fathers might never have imagined. They began with optimism and enthusiasm in a small factory in Ferenche, where plasterboard was made by hand. Then, on a fateful day in October 1929, the world faced one of the most severe tests in modern history, the Great Depression. Wall Street crashed and the world suffered along with it. For many, it was a time of endings. Yet amidst the tumult of history, our brave beginnings emerged and took root. But the world changed and out of the optimism, a new culture found its voice and swung into our lives. That new feeling was shared by our own company forefathers and they developed a robust business, carried along on the tide of growth. A new factory was built to seize opportunities. There were new shareholders, new prospects. As the decade of the 30s drew to a close, storm clouds began to build in Europe and the East and cast their shadows across the world. The darkness took over and enveloped the entire world for more than half a decade. But as the smoke cleared, people of the world began to rebuild with an enthusiasm and verve not seen before. Soldiers returning to all parts needed housing and Gypsum was there, offering a solution to a new set of demands. And so the 50s were again a time of change, of growth and of success. Stars rose and became a part of the fabric of our lives. Travel began to join continents and the global village took shape. There were good times when Gypsum expanded into Africa and not so good times. But when the going got tough, Gypsum found a way. That way was mining, a successful venture that lasted for decades. They say if you remember the 60s, you weren't there. What a time that was. The old guard made way for the new. Baby boomers became leaders and it was about peace and freedom, flower power and liberation. We went to the moon and beyond and the greatest social change, the internet, became an embryo. Gypsum continued to grow, to find new markets. A plot was established in Zimbabwe. Rhino board became standard in government buildings and architects were educated on the benefits of gypsum. In the 70s, it was bell bottoms and psychedelic color and Star Wars. We experimented with everything and pushed boundaries. The decade of disco and the invention of video recorders. When vinyl records were still king and boys gave girls mixtapes on cassette to show their love. Bruce Lee taught the West the meaning of Kung Fu, while Evil Knievel ramp-jumped everything from cars and trucks to double-decker buses and river canyons. But Nixon couldn't jump Watergate, and Apollo 13 almost jumped past the moon. Everything seemed to move faster, and in the quest for speed, computers became the primary tool of business. The 70s saw great activity for our company, the Don Company was set up and produced Don products locally. Gypsum Industries Limited became a shareholder in Don. In Bushman land, vast reserves of gypsum were discovered and new mining techniques were developed to take advantage. For only the second time in history, a Wurtgen horizontal strip mining machine was used to develop a unique mining method. So we rushed into the 80s. The Russians began to talk, the world began to change. And while the old ways crumbled, new kings rose. Technology changed us and humanity changed the environment. Life shaped music, music shaped fashion, space shuttles went up and space shuttles came down. 
and in a small corner of Africa, the winds of change blew stronger. A nation fought for its freedom, sacrificed its sons and mobilized the world. Isolation began to take its toll. Push had finally come to shove. And while shoulder pads grew and music got louder, that small nation wept its way into the decade that would change it all. New heroes emerged into the sunlight on that legendary walk. We stepped to the brink, looked in, and then did the unbelievable. We stepped back. South Africa performed the miracle that had eluded so many before. A revolution without catastrophe. No more guns, no more bombs. We switched bullets for ballots and declared ourselves free and equal. For Gypsum, it was a time of consolidation and expansion. A new plant at Brakban, another new plant in Cape Town. Gypsum was delisted. British shareholder British Plasterboard joined us and our name changed to BPB Gypsum. The company and the nation found a way to move forward and embrace change. In 2005, St. Gobain purchased BPB Gypsum and we had a choice to make. What name would we take? The decision says everything about us. The new name was Giprock. It honored our gypsum heritage and charted our vision. Rock. Solid. Permanent. As the young democracy moved into the 21st century, our cities grew. A new order rose. We built high-speed rail, new sources of energy. We hosted the world's greatest sporting event and experienced glory. We marveled as young men became billionaires. Finally, we bid farewell to our greatest son. The world has changed over the past 85 years, and through it all, we have written our story. This is a story that spans nine decades. A story of vision, resourcefulness, and courage. But most of all, it is a story of change, written in the language of innovation. It is the language that gives us the flexibility to keep writing whatever life throws at us. The story began in 1929, but is yet unfinished, and it is your story to write.